So we'll deal with this whenever I get this game. Um, instead of playing it for an hour, I'm going to play just two, two games. I think that's fair. All right, McSweeney's back in. But now, I'm not going to change the lineup. Instead, um, I will go ahead and swap him for... Taylor. How's the uh, standings looking now? Better. We get another win. Actually, yeah, that should put us at a lot. Or, uh, sixth. Yeah, we fucking dominated. Dominate like Mongols should dominate. Where is it? Five to one and six to one. Next match is in June. Dominate them too. I think I'm going to replace one of these training girls here. Delivery is very important. Or what, I can't change it? Who says I can't change it? I'm the fucking head coach. That's some bullshit. Damn. I wish I there. Whatever. I mean, 
It's not that big of a deal. I'll let them have it. Oh, okay, now I can change it, right? That's delivery again. Set piece delivery. Let's not worry about uh, this one, I don't think. <clears throat> Ooh, my boy won the gold award. Oh, shit. I forgot to congratulate him. Which one's him again? Oh, he's kind of important. What do you do this time? Hold thigh. Now we're going to leave him. To that dude. How's the ED doing? Schedule complete reputation, return to full training five days. Daddy, Deedy, Daddy. It's Daddy. It would probably sound better if I just said it with an accent instead of fucking around. Ooh, I got a B from the board. Please 2 1 victory over the Please 3 0 victory. Happy with level support and club. I'm concerned about the. Yeah, you know what? Don't worry about that. Okay, those are all, like, top-tier teams of the division. Um, what what's my goals? What's my goals? Work within the payroll budget. End of current season. Avoid finishing at the bottom.
I'm going to finish in the middle, at least. Uh. And I'm staying with this team. Staying until we win. Gonna win it all. Whatever, whatever all of it is, I don't know. Damn. Can I praise him for... Nah, I ain't, I ain't nobody gonna be fucking individually praised right now. Turner can go to where O'Driscoll's at, and when, uh, once his face can come back to the right side. It's fine. I don't need your fucking advice. Okay, so I'm going against Waterford. Didn't I just play Waterford? No, I didn't. But they're in my league, right? No. Who's Waterford? Oh, they're in the Premier Division. Oh. Oh. 
I forgot I'm just first division. So we're going to be doing this first round match against Wexford and then uh, League Cup first round against Waterford. Feeling pretty good about it, honestly. Oh, there's a draw after every round, huh? That's fair. Capable playing in forthcoming fixture with minimal risk complications, recovering from neck strain. <clears throat> okay, so he's pretty much ready to go. Um, and I don't know if Sheedy is going to have to try to actually not suck at this fucking game is what he's going to have to do because he's going to be our starting right uh, winger. Turner's going to the left. Driscoll's going to have to come down here. And that's just how we're going to do it. This is a perfectly acceptable starting lineup. Always passionate. I don't know who's who. Oh, okay. If we lose, I'm gonna blame it on the uniforms being too close to uh, gather in color. They're on the same color spectrum. Nope. Don't let it happen. Gaming today is wonderful. I just started. Spent all day shopping. Let me, uh. Let me actually turn down the game audio here. Because we don't really need it that loud for this particular game. That's right. 
We're going to go for another 3 0, I think. <laughs> well, we, we drive about an hour, hour and a half to shop in a particular town because it's mostly Amish and they have um, really good meat for like dirt cheap. I'm talking like $4.99 a pound for New York Strip, $6.99 a pound for ribeye. Like the old prices, you know, from a long time ago. And the meat's way better. And they also have a lot of nice shops that we uh, frequent. So, and we haven't gotten to really do any grocery shopping in forever. And we've been needing to do it. But with my work schedule, it's a pain in the ass. Luckily, I got today off. It just sucks I had to spend my day off. You know, driving hour and a half, but it's worth it. And my car gets really good gas mileage, so. With ribeyes being like almost 20 bucks a pound right now to get them for six ninety nine a pound, and it actually being better quality than what the $20, $20 pound ribeyes are, um, it's worth the $3 in gas. In fact, gas could be probably seven, eight bucks a gallon before it's before I would actually give it the thought of it not being worth it. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna spend that much money today, but you know, like, cause it's cash only place. So my wife's throwing shit in the cart and I'm like trying to add up the prices and I got about halfway through and I'm like, eh, I don't need to worry about it. I got plenty of cash, but I spent all my cash or almost all my cash, half my cash. I got her some stuff. Um, I got myself some socks. So, uh, she ended up having to use the ATM, which is like right there by the register. It's a little embarrassing. But they're Amish people, they don't care. They know they're gonna get that dollar. I should probably do a shout here. Get my guys to concentrate a little bit. I'm always unsure on how these are going to come off. Okay, apparently that came off well. Oh, got behind... Uh, That almost never happens. Well, that's because I'm playing it in fast motion. Um, if I go to normal, it almost feels like slow motion. But, you know, I'm not sitting here trying to watch an entire soccer match, so... I see everything I need to see in, in, in the max speed. Come on. They're starting to try to get this guy in behind us and I don't I don't care for it. <clears throat> Wonder if I should offside trap him. Yeah, that's the third time. Yeah, they keep trying to deliver a ball to him. Uh. <clears throat> if there is any doubt, Turner is the best player on my team. He does nothing wrong. At all, ever. Like, he does nothing wrong. My assistants, they're like, hey, you know Turner? He's like the worst player in practice. He doesn't do a fucking thing. 
And I tell him, that's because he's too busy playing the game. He's tired. Or if he wants to smoke cigars while he's doing uh, set-piece training, that's fine. Because he's just going to keep delivering that shit. Let him do whatever he wants. Look at this beautiful shot. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. That made my toes curl. Yeah, yeah. And I used to love playing The Sims. The Sims 3 was the pinnacle of The Sims franchise. A lot of people think Sims 4 is good, but what they don't realize is... Yep. What the hell's going on out here? Hold on a second. Yeah, you probably should. We'll have we'll have those in the base over to Super Meat. <laughs> Work tomorrow? Yes. Normal clothes because they have a little skirt. I don't know. I'm going to be wearing an undershirt. Everybody look at my legs to this. Go pack my meat. That was my woman wanted to show me our meat. My wife is very proud of her meat. Don't let him. Okay. What's the mood on the field right now? I'm just going to encourage him. Frustrated by the feedback. Whatever. You know what? Suck my cock, okay? I'm just trying to be a nice guy. Come on. This is like what last place in the division right now. We gotta we gotta bury these guys. Oh, we gotta win convincingly here. He's about to blow the whistle. Yep. I have this weird OCD thing where I don't sub until the 55th, the 65th, and the 75th minute. I don't sub any sooner unless I absolutely have to. Oh, he tried it too.
Almost. Ooh, that was close. Basically, my whole tactic is uh, it's just right here. Um, the, these guys stay primarily up in the upper two thirds of the uh, field. These guys go from end to end. These guys go from end to end. It's very effective. Okay, so who's my worst performer right now? Sheedy. Of course he is. It's dog shit. Uh, but I don't have anybody to replace anybody. Or actually, no. Roberts can go here. Turner can go there. And we'll go ahead and we'll put in... Uh, where's the rating? Rating. Rating. Am I having a stroke? I don't see it. Profile. Stats. Coach report. Um, form. Okay, 6.81, I'll take that. Oh, shit. 6.81, and then what's this guy? 7.15, yeah, we know who's going. This guy. And I'm still doing that thing where I change a game every hour, except for this particular game, I'm going to change every two games. Like, soccer games. So, I haven't rolled yet to see what game I'm going to play next, so. I like the way, I can't believe I haven't thought of doing this sooner. I've been streaming games for so long, like on Twitch and whatnot, and I never thought about just changing games every hour i always figured you know what, i'm just gonna play one game and stick to it sometimes you get bored you know when i was a kid before i had a computer i had a 64 i had uh you know a ps1 i had super nintendo and all that and i, pl I only had like five six games and i would just play you know, I keep playing them over and over. Sometimes using my imagination to come up with, you know, different random shit. And uh, ever since f fucking I'm able to, you know, torrent any game I want or buy any game I want on Steam, it's like it's really easy to just get like bored of something after, you know, three or four hours of playing it. Because my brain is just spoiled, you know? So, doing it this way, it just, it's the constant stage of variety. Or, yeah. And, and I'm not getting bored of anything. I don't have time to get bored of anything. Sometimes I feel like I should keep playing the game, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to switch to the next one. That way it gives me something to look forward to. I almost recommend this to people that don't even stream. It's actually really nice. There's been so many times where I've sat there and I just, you know, I said to myself, you know, I don't even, I don't even feel like playing anything. I'm just, I just don't feel like playing anything.
But now it's entirely different. Now I look forward to this shit. Alright, so Cleary needs to come out because he's uh bad. Um <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and put Taylor in for him. I don't remember my hold on. I've played things like Mist and stuff. I never really liked those games. But um like the very first PC game that I fell in love with was Rainbow Six. Rogue Spear. <clears throat> I actually played Rogue Spear before I played the original. I absolutely love that game. I used to play that so much in single player. I never played multiplayer. I just kept doing missions differently all the time. All the time. And I literally played that until... Well, Operation Flashpoint and Quake, I think Quake came out first, Quake 3 Arena. And I played Quake 3 Arena a lot, multiplayer, and I played Operation Flashpoint a lot, just with the mission editor. And I also played Unreal Tournament 2004 a lot, so I guess to answer your question, without including games that my stepdad had laying around, uh... My first love was Rogue Spear for PC. <clears throat> I had all the expansions. I used to sit there and watch the Covert Operations videos. And try to replicate like what they were saying. And I love SWAT 3 too. SWAT 3 was good. SWAT 4 is really good too. I almost want to buy Ready or Not. Since it's basically SWAT 5. Yep. What were you doing out there? <laughs> I actually never played WoW originally when it came out. I didn't play WoW until it was probably Wrath of the Lich King was out. It was 2008. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But the first time I played WoW was on a Burning Crusade private server. And I loved it. But the server cores at the time were like brand new. They were buggy as hell. Only half the quests worked. Sometimes you had to get a GM if they were on because it's a private server and they're not getting paid. <clears throat> to like auto complete something for you. Does Ready or Not have like a full on campaign mode yet? Or because it's still in early access, so I have to ask these questions. Alright, tactics. Uh, who sucks right now? Leonard is apparently sucking balls. Okay, well. Who's better in that? Okay, it's better that way. Alright, Leonard coming off. We'll go ahead and switch to an attacking mentality. I should have switched to that five minutes ago, but that's fine.
See, they don't expect us to attack right back, apparently. Yeah, we don't fuck around. That was close. Lighter would have made that. Oh, he should have made that. That was damn near an open goal. I like how he's going offsides and I didn't even set for an offside trap. He's just that bad at this game. Like why even play soccer at that point? Fuck yeah, 2-1. I'll take it. Whatever, you know, some people just can't be happy. <clears throat> That's two wins in a row now. I got people either getting injured or suspended. Okay, let me uh, read, read read what you said here. Oh, I got a notification. Dying Light 2, DL DLSS 3 versus DLSS 2. I don't care. DLSS, from what I understand, is like some kind of way to get... Uh, more frames in a game that you want more frames in, which is kind of redundant if you can run it at, you know, a good resolution at 60 frames a second. Anyway. Campaign isn't out yet. It says full release will have it, but the game is good. You'd like it. I bought it because I enjoyed SWAT 4 back in the day. You can actually get a mod for the game that contains missions from SWAT uh, 4 and audio. How many missions does it come with right now? Out of the box. And I'm assuming there's um, yes or no me on this one. With uh, the workshop, do people have access to all the map making tools for the game and they make their own uh, missions and stuff, or no? 
because my main complaint with SWAT uh, SWAT three and four is like the first third of the game, the missions in that were like super realistic. Like you just had this dude that was barricaded in this house, potentially maybe has his daughter with him, maybe a hostage, maybe not. Like those are realistic, like gas station robberies, uh, things like that. But then it turned into, you know, these fucking random dudes armed to the teeth have a nuclear weapon in some uh, convention center or something. It just, like, it, it went, like, from zero to a hundred, like, pfft. it was kind of ridiculous. I prefer the small-scale, like, um, plausible SWAT missions. Like, obviously, they probably train for that kind of thing, but I don't care for it, because if I wanted to play Rainbow Six, I'd play Rainbow Six. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, so I need to change up my shit. Cheaty still sucks. Is he gonna training in three days? I don't have three days. Daddy's back, so we're gonna go Turner here. Daddy out here. Cheaty is a sub. I'm gonna go ahead and organize my subs based on sub priority. Because I can't look that up in game. Like who's doing the best. I'm essentially just going to rank them. McDonald. Murphy. You know, we'll put him up here. He doesn't have an average. Well, last five games. Doesn't have an average rating yet. So we're just going to give him that, I think. Okay, that looks good. Oh, McSweeney's actually going to have to come in here. Which means O'Driscoll might have to play sooner than he wants to, because um, it's my best sub right now, unfortunately. 14 missions? Pretty good. So what's the story with the devs in Ready or Not? Are they, like, all the same devs from SWAT? Or are they mostly the same devs? Is it, like, two or three people and some other people making the game? And I really hope they're focusing on, like, uh, the single player. Because multiplayer... Multiplayer in those games, like Rainbow Six Siege, I can't stand it. It's awful. In my opinion, it's just awful. Doesn't play anything like single player, doesn't play realistically at all. Like, honestly, I really think they should just remake the original Rainbow Six and then remake Rogue Spear, since, you know, AAA devs and publishers love remakes so much, they should just do it and not change anything. Just add better graphics. That's all you gotta do. But they'll change something. I'm sure, because they feel, they feel like they just have to. Maybe a mission editor is just too much for them with their budget, so they don't think the game's going to do that well. So they're just going to give us, like, some half-assed, uh, fucking Ghost Recon, um, mission planner or whatever. I remember the original Ghost Recon and how disappointed I was with how little you could plan in the missions. It was basically just loadouts. It was pretty dumb. Well, no, you had routes, but it didn't, it just wasn't the same. I, I don't know how to describe it. Not to mention Ghost Recon was the game that 
essentially became a meme because all the enemies in that game had pinpoint accuracy and .001 millisecond response times, even on the easiest difficulty. And their, their autos had no recoil at all. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go make another drink. I'll be back. Getting old sucks. Oh, hold on. We got a bunch of emails here. Face the impossible. Oh. I doubt it. Actually, I haven't played Wildlands yet. Last Ghost Recon game I played was uh, Advanced Warfighter. I just really started to hate Ubisoft after that.
Oh. Yeah, I remember for a while there. It was like... Quite the uh, debate. What company was worse for gaming? EA or Ubisoft? And I want to say... Uh, it all started... When who was it? I want to say EA started it with the uh, the on disc DLC DLC that's on your disc, but you have to pay an additional you know fifteen bucks to play. I want to say that was an EA thing. I'm fucking ready. I'm fucking ready. Scheduled to be fully fit tomorrow. Can he play right now? What's he suspended from? He can play right now though, right? Put him in there for Sweeney. Can he play right now? No. Son of a bitch. I'm going to lay it to him. We can do this. I've never played Ghost Recon 2 either. And I vaguely remember Rainbow Six 3. I think I might have rented it. So was it Rainbow Six Three on? Um, that was on the Xbox. Pretty sure. Cause I had a shitty PC for the longest time. I could run Quake at 60 frames per second, but everything else, you know, there's actually still not a computer out right now that can run Operation Flashpoint in full graphics, because it only uses utilizes motherfucker. Gotta be better than that. He's just standing around. Like, what the fuck? Anyway. Anyway. And now we need to go into attacking.
wasn't the most um, popular Rainbow Six game. Wasn't that Raven Shield or something? Everybody and their mother played that. I'm pretty sure Halo 2 and Raven Shield were like the most, the two most popular Xbox Live games. Yeah, we can score on these guys. I don't care if we lose, I just want a goal or two. Like, I want to know that we can. At halftime, I'll go ahead and roll to see what game I'm playing next. See, that second goal was a lot less shitty than the first goal. Because the first goal, we just fucking stood there. Like a deer in headlights. Making our goalkeeper do literally everything. I mean, we might as well just send him up to try to score it while we're at it. Because he's literally doing everything out there. Oh, was that, um, was it that arena show? Because that used to be on G4. Yeah, the internet killed G4. Hardcore. And they only had, like, two good shows. Yes. Yes. I know we can. We're going against the team that's in the Premier League, by the way. We're not even in the Premier League. We're in, like, the division below it. They're literally out of our league. Literally. And we scored a goal on them. That arena show was dumb. They went about it all wrong. Like, they did some random games that nobody cared about. Like, they had... I'm pretty sure they must have signed Zios just to come onto the show for Halo. And they had Fatality playing Stur uh, Sturmy. I think his name was Sturmy. And, and uh, Quake 4. And they pretty much paid money for those people to come in. Like, they weren't really winning anything. There was no tournament. It was just a show match, essentially. There wasn't really, like, any competitiveness. It was just one person against one person. Or, yeah, actually, it's pretty much always a 1v1. And the problem is, esports sucks so bad right now that it's impossible to, like, put on television. Counter-Strike's boring to watch. Um, League of Legends is boring to watch. Dota 2 is relatively exciting to watch, but it's not really too exciting to play. Because of people. Um, Fortnite's boring. Um... It's all just really fucking boring. And to be fair, I might sound like a straight boomer right now, but um, Halo 3 was really boring. Halo 2 was exciting to watch, but the... the... Um, the... Uh, 
production value of it at the time was not very good. We got a goal. You know what? We got a goal. What more can we ask for? We got a goal. Let's just go ahead and get another one. Oh, you fucked it up. The only eSport that was ever entertaining to watch was StarCraft 2. Well, like, Dota 2 is entertaining to watch, but, like, those are the only two that I can think of. And the only reason, and I say this completely unbiased, and I played both games, I played both games competitively. Um, the reason is, is just the, the idea, it's, it's just the game in general. Like, you have a top-down RTS. The spectator can see everything that's going on. The commentator is fantastic for both games. The camera work is fantastic. With shooters, you're just seeing from one guy's perspective, and the camera is constantly going back and forth between different people, and you don't know who's watching who, and if they're doing a live game, they'll say, hey, let's watch and see what this guy's doing, and no, he's over here camping. He's not really doing a fucking thing. Did you have enough? Barely? Just barely. Okay. Like, uh, that's kind of like a Okay. Are you ready to smoke yet? Um. I do plan on another thing I plan on doing with my channel um, since I actually make a decent amount of money now and I can afford to do this is I plan on playing a lot of indie games and I plan on actually buying them rather than touring to come to support the developer um, And that includes games that I get recommended because all indie games, all indie devs, 90% of indie devs, you know, they don't necessarily view their total game sales as like a success thing. Like AAA publishers do. I mean, it's obviously a big deal if your game doesn't sell at all. You know, you're you're probably just gonna stop making video games at that point. But they look more at like Steam feedback and reviews, and they listen to the community for the most part. Some of them have kind of an ego, you know, that they shouldn't have because you know they're it's a mom and pop shop and literally their mom and pop's basement, and they're over here making games and um a lot of people consider buying a game as like a vote of whether or not the game's good or not it's like well you know you don't know if it's good or not until you buy the game so i don't have any problem buying a you know 10 20 30 dollar indie game if it's in my backlog or if it's recommended because i know somebody recommended something to me i don't know if it was you or not but it's in the list now I just need to go through some games before I get to that point. Shit, what should I bring in for him? Uh. 
Early, I guess. We're going to go very attacking here at the 60 minute mark. We're just going to do it now. <clears throat> I don't know why my main striker was that far off to uh, the side, but whatever. At 70 minutes, I'm going to uh, change up my positioning responsibilities. We're playing competitively with the t a premier team, so that makes me feel good about my team's future. Until that happened. Okay, so, well, now we need to change things. Attack. Attack. Inside forward attack. Inside forward attack. Um. Out of possession, we're going to bring the line a little bit lower. Firm changes. The fuck was that? Oh, I said at halftime I was going to roll to see what game I'm playing next. My fault. One second. That was such poor effort. Well, now I gotta do this. Attack. Attack. Oh, about damn time. Oh, he almost scored that. There's no way. 
get that bread it's gonna fit in the freezer all of it or some of it what do you mean all bread or some bread no bread is going to fit in that freezer zero unless i put like them in sandwich bags and try to cram them wherever i can Oh, I'm missing a song.
We're getting a lot of chances here. A lot of chances. It could be 5 for the break. Or it should be. All right, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to end the stream here for a bit, and when I come back, I'm playing a different game.